please don't wake me from this What's up legends, LGG Alden here. Today I'm back with episode 15 of my Game Maker Studios top down game tutorials. And today I have planned to do something that I've wanted to do for a while and I finally figured out a good way I want to do it. And it's something that you guys have been requesting so I figured I'd finally get to it. What it is, is we're going to be doing advanced AI, so more better movement so it goes around walls it knows where to avoid everything like that and I think another thing we'll try depending how long it takes to do the movement is making it so it senses if you're close to it if you're not like in a certain range of it then it won't move at all or like if you're not yeah yeah that's right so to start this off we're gonna be using like a grid based system sort of so the first thing you want to do, you'll just do it in the wall area since that's kind of where it takes place. We'll do object grid. So this will just represent the grid object. So you're going to want to create a vent in here, drag a code over. So we're going to need to create two variables. It's going to be one for the, like, it's like, it'll almost be like cells. So it'll be like putting kind of like blocks throughout the whole entire map area or room and it will turn it into like cells and it will find out the smartest path to move it so what we're going to do is we'll do cell width and we'll make that 32 and then we'll do the same thing for cell height and set that one equal to 32 also and then we're going to need to come up with like the horizontal and vertical cells and the way we're going to do that then is we'll do H cells horizontal cells, uh, yeah, cells equals room underscore width divided by cell width so basically it's taking the room and it's dividing it by 32 and then we'll do the same thing for vertical cells and set that equal to room height divided by cell height like that and then we need to create the actual grid. So we're going to do a global event so we can call it in multiple locations. So global grid equals and then we'll do MP grid create. Now all the things you need in here will be zero, zero, you just need two zeros. The horizontal cells, the vertical cells, you want cell, the cell width and height width cell underscore height and that should be good for that let's make okay yeah no errors so that's good and then we need to add the actual grid so grid add and did I type that right I think I did oh wait instances whoops that's what I did wrong okay and then we need global dot grid so you're calling the grid and then the object that to avoid so we need the wall because the wall is technically the parent event it's in charge of the border and the bricks and any other type of wall we make will be based off of the object wall. So that's the overall parent event. And then false. That should work good. Okay, so that should be all we need for there, I believe. And that should be fine. And then now we need to go into the enemy. So the enemy is where kind of like we actually create him and make him use the grid. So we need to add the path. So path equals path, oh wait, path add. So like that, that's all you need in the create event. And then in the step event, we'll have to do the path creation and kind of finding. So the way we're gonna do this is we'll just make two variables. We'll do CX and then we'll have it equal, let's try this. Um, Oh, object players, so to call to the players, x divided by 32, because that's like the size of everything that we're using, times by 32 plus 16. That should work. And then we'll do the same thing for y, except make it the player y. obj underscore player dot y divided by 32 times 32 plus 16. Okay. And then we need to create an if statement. So we'll do if MP grid path. And we'll do in here we need global dot grid x 
why oh wait 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 I forgot the path so we're gonna need the path yeah that should be fine Y X Y because the path is what we added I almost forgot we needed that C X C Y so the variables we just created and then one oh wait there we go and then we need to create the path start and it'll be the path that we add, path add, and then four, wait, four. So like, I think, I believe, wait, let me look at what it said. I believe that is the speed variable. So we might have, what is the speed? Do we have a player speed? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's use the SPD variable instead for that. I almost forgot that we already had a speed variable. And then we'll do path action stop and then false and we can get rid of this now we don't need the move towards player object code anything or anything like that and I believe that should work fine so back to the test room where we left off with I have some players here so we're gonna need to add the grid object into the world it's in the walls oh wait that's nope wrong one grid so we'll just set it up in the corner for now okay so now we'll try this we'll see how this works where the enemies follow me and then we'll add where it's like they need to be in a certain range of you so click play okay so it all works so now they follow me and as you can see they follow the closest path that they can so whatever it takes to get to me so whether that be going up here and then if I get if I probably get to a certain point over here that one will turn around and be like hey wait there's a faster path this way Let's try it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, so now it'll take this way. But if I go over here, it'll be like, hey, wait. Oh, wait. No, it's I too, I'm too far already. So that, yeah. So it'll take the quickest path. So if I was to stand in this corner, they'll hug that corner. If I was to stand here, they'll go over there. So, yeah, that actually works pretty good. And, I mean, I guess they can kind of collide with the walls a bit, as you can see. But it's probably not too big of a deal. If we ever need to fix it, we can. So now that we have that working... Let's actually make it so they have a radius in which they sense you. So we're going to need to go into the enemy, and I believe we can do that with the code we just added, which is right here. So the way this should work, MP grid path, I think we can just add to this if statement. So we can be like, we can add if, okay, let's see distance is this the variable I'm thinking of distance to object okay um, actually let's try no that that'll actually be fine distance to object obj underscore player and then we'll do less than let's try let's try 50 see how that goes and then do an and statement so that it does both let's see if that works Make sure that's... I think it should be fine. That should work perfect. So now they don't follow me. So they're not following me. Until I get... Oh, see, that's way too short. Because you need to be that close. So then see that? I get away from them and then they'll just stop. So that's kind of how we want it to be. Except we should really increase this. Let's try quadrupling it. Seeing if that's big enough. That might still even be kind of small. Eventually, we could make it so, like, the enemies, if they look your direction. That's still a little small. I think we could go, like, 300. That should be fine. Okay. So, now we have it. We have all the guns, everything figured out. I think that's good. Hopefully, it's all working good for you guys. If something doesn't work... Be sure to comment that because I will help you guys. I will do my best to figure out anything that didn't work out for you guys. Why it wouldn't. Because I want everybody to be the same point I am. So they continue. You don't have any errors. So make sure to comment if anything doesn't go right. Because it's kind of important. Or else you're just stuck behind. But I believe this is where I'm going to end the video guys. Just because that's all there really is to it. I think it really does make a big difference now because you guys have been asking and I finally figured out a, the best way I wanted to do this. 
I think it's pretty efficient now that they cut corners. They know the smartest way to come find you. They don't just, oh, hey, he's this way. Let's try to travel. Oh, there's a wall. That's too bad. I can't get around it. Makes it a lot simpler, a lot nicer to have that. And we can add that to other things. Doesn't have to be enemies. You could set it up the grid system for anything we want. Whatever we want to use it for. It's not too hard to work with. But that's pretty much it. And making it so that you could change that range to whatever you want. The bigger you are, the bigger the range, the closer or the less, the further away you can be till they sense you. But that's all I got for this episode, guys. If you want to see anything else, anything specific, comment it and I will get to it. At least if it has relation to this. Where'd they go? Did, oh, he stopped sensing me. If it doesn't really involve this too much, then there's not necessarily too much I can do. But I will try my best to do anything you guys want. So go ahead and comment that. Any issues, like I said, comment that also, and I will do my best to help you. And But other than that, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.